All right, everyone, welcome back to another Veracity Breakdown where I'm gonna take you through Veracity's different features in far greater detail than I could have on my previous video. Now, if you did want more statistics on Veracity, such as anything on coin market cap, including price information, please check out my previous video. It is linked at the top right-hand corner on the screen now. Also, if you did want me to get into the technical details of Veracity, please let me know and I can do a full dedicated video getting into the nitty gritty. But as for today's video, I'm gonna be covering some of the key features I didn't have time to look at in my previous video and that will include Veracity's TV's homepage and associated links. Also Vera Wallet and how to stake Veracity token. I'll also be briefly looking at the Esports Fight Club uh, main page. And I'm also gonna be looking at upcoming events on the roadmap so you can buy the rumor and sell the news. Now, I think this is gonna give you a pretty well, good understanding of Veracity as an entire whole. So you can take full advantage of this cryptocurrency while it remains relatively undetected. Well, I suppose I better introduce myself. Hey everyone, my name is Kyron from ABS Crypto. And my goal with this channel is to bring you educational content on cryptocurrencies that can bring us life-changing wealth. This normally comes from micro cap to mid cap cryptocurrencies. So stay tuned if you are interested. Also, if you are new around here, I post two videos a week. My first is on 100X cryptocurrency that at least I believe will 100X this bull run or the next. And the second video is on a review uh, suggested by you guys on any cryptocurrency, good, bad, or in between, where I honestly review it and rate it on my BS meter so you guys could potentially save or make a lot of money. Now, Veracity was actually recommended to me a few weeks ago and it did warrant a deeper dive and that is what I'll be doing today. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so let's go through this in chronological order like I mentioned to you previously. Now, I've taken out my face cam I normally have simply because I want you to see the entire page. Okay, so uh, as I normally do, let's cover from the top left to the bottom right. Remember, we're just covering the basics. The main part of this video is the upcoming events on the roadmap, just so you're aware. Okay, so we can see here, Esports Fight Club, there's a link to that. There's a link to the Watch and Earn. There's a link to the Vera Wallet, which we'll also be covering soon, and the Social Wall. Now, it's very important to have a look on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Now, you're gonna be able to see the current price of the VRA token in USDT, as well as a list of the different uh, countries you can also pick. Uh, now moving down, we can see here Esports Fight Club. So this is just a link to the Esports Fight Club. Now I want to mention that the links to all of the things listed on the Veracity TV page happen pretty much immediately. Now my internet is average. I live in Australia and there's nothing special. The links, which we're going to go over in a bit, literally load in a millisecond. They are so, so quick. So anyway, a link to the Esports Fight Club here. Moving down, we can see the Watch and Earn. So this is uh, a reference to the tab up here. We can see if we click this here, I'm not gonna go into it because it'll play a video and it'll ruin the audio, but they pretty much teach you how the trophy system works and how you can actually earn rewards with the VRA tokens by watching videos on some of these platforms here. They also make a reference to this soon as well. So uh, it's really interesting. If you can go and click on these yourself, you'll be able to see like a YouTube video, for example, utilize this Watch and Earn feature. So now we're going to go down here to the Discover Veracity apps and look at this. I'm going to open this up and it's just going to open instantly. It's on a different page entirely. So this part actually opens up to the Vera Wallet. Uh, we'll have three apps, for example. So they have the Vera Wallet, which is obviously what we're going to be covering soon. And this is about all the Vera Wallet that you can hold your tokens in and stake your tokens. So that's fine. It's very, very simple. I'm going to go over it soon, as I said. So next we have the Trevita. Uh, this is pretty much a quiz game. As you can see here, you earn crystals in the game and redeem them in VRA tokens. So our cryptocurrency, which can be converted into BTC or ETH, which is pretty good. You can actually download this right now and start using it. That's up to you. It's just more passive income. And the last one is actually an app you can download that allows you to, to watch ads and the ads allows you to earn VRA tokens, which I find pretty cool as well. So let's just go back now and continue down the page. Next, we have another link here. This will actually take us to the uh, Esports Fight Club page. I'm not gonna go into that, but you can go into that yourself. Watch, learn, and earn. So you can go and watch these videos yourself. It's just basic uh, understandings of each of the different topics here. I'm not gonna go into that. As I said, we're gonna be covering the Esports Fight Club soon anyway. They actually have a page where you can go and listen to latest crypto updates and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go into that as well because actually, you know what, let's do it. There's not too much here, actually. It's just pretty basic. So we can see there's videos we can watch and they keep this up to date pretty well. You can also enter your email address for information on upcoming projects and things like that. Uh, so yeah, go through that at your own speed, I guess. 
Now further down here, we have the tools. So this is pretty much what I was mentioning before. If you go into each of these links, they're pretty much gonna bring you to the page where you can see an example of the YouTube video or Twitch video, where they utilize the watch and earn feature, that green trophy. So that's up to you again to go through and, um, and watch those. SDKs are now available for the following uh, video players. Now, further down here, if you are a video creator, you can actually talk to the team and request to be mentioned so that Veracity can help you grow your audience. As you can see here, grow your audience, engagement, and revenue using our attention-based rewards platform. So they're trying to bring creators onto the platform to utilize the amazing features they have, as well as also earn VRA tokens in the, in the uh, meantime. And that's pretty much it. You can subscribe to the uh, newsletter here. I think next we're just gonna go onto the Vero Wallet, as I mentioned to you, and cover the important things, mainly staking. Now, people, it's time to go over the Vero Wallet. So to access that, we're gonna open Vero Wallet here. Now on this page, we're gonna be greeted with basic information on the Vera wallet and how to buy and stake, for example. So the tabs here, this is what we're on now, the instant buy, VRA and stake. We've got VRA info and exchanges. This is information on the exchanges uh, and what type of token it is, so ERC. 777 we can see stake vra so this is important uh, i just want to quickly mention this to you even though i'll be uh, mentioning it soon we can see here that uh, if you did stake 10,000 vra which isn't much as you can see right now it's uh, almost two cents so it's not going to be very difficult to purchase 10,000 vra tokens you're actually passively gaining seven vra per day and as we can see here, if you held 200 million, you would be getting 140,000 a day. So that's a 0.07% return. And that equals to about 25.55% per year, which is actually amazing considering most banks right now are giving you 0.3%, if not charging you to keep the money in the bank. So as we can see here, the total capacity for the current pool is 2.5 billion VRA tokens and the available capacity is only 23 million. So I'm not entirely sure. I do believe once this pool is filled, uh, the next pool may only offer a lower amount, a lower percentage, sorry. So I would get in while you can. Now, earn VRA, this is just another uh, link to how to use the, the trophy system. And buy VRA with bank transfer. This is pretty cool. This is like an, uh, it's not really an on and off fiat ramp, it's just more like an on ramp. So you can pay, for example, this way. Uh, I wouldn't really suggest that there is a large fee, as you can see here, uh, 54 Australian dollars. So stick to, stick to the simpler way, which I'm gonna show you soon. Now, let's just go back and actually open up the the account here and sign in, and I'm gonna show you from there. So we're here now, I'm all signed in. Now, when you first sign up, it's gonna ask for things like your residential address, your email address, and also if you'd like a two-factor authentication uh, app, which you should also do. This information can be easily changed. You can also put in a dud address if you do like. So it's up to you entirely whether you'd like that information shared on Veracity. So we can see here under my wallets, we can get the instant buy VRA and stake, which we'll be using. Now you can see your main wallet here has zero VRA. Obviously I'm using a, a second account and also a staking wallet as well. So there's two separate wallets. Now you can go on my account, change this information. I'm just gonna have to blur that all out for you and staking. So this is where I was talking about the staking. So current APY 25.55%, staking ends on the 31st of March, 2022. So we do have quite a while on that left and we can see here the current pool size, okay? So get your head around that, go on yourself and have a look. And as you can see, there is some things like uh, unstaking, you have to wait uh, 72 hours. So that's all important information, but not uh, anything I'm gonna go into in great detail now. Let's just say we wanna buy some VRA and stake it. So you have this option here. So you have the option of hitting buy, instant buy VRA and stake, and you can choose what current pair you actually have on an exchange to, to purchase the uh, token. So let's just say we have USDT, we want to put a thousand dollars in it's going to do the calculations for us so 47,000 vra tokens daily reward 33 vra and yearly reward now this is fantastic this gives you a certain exact number so you can work out your passive income per day let's just say we wanted to put ten thousand dollars in that's how much it's going to be and you know you can work that out due to the current price and obviously it's going to be a lot higher hopefully in a year two or three depending on how obviously the current cycle goes. Now let's just say you wanted to actually go through and purchase. So you would hit buy and stake, only send USDT tokens to the following Ethereum ERC20 address, show address, and that's gonna give you the address to send this to. As it said, only in ERC20, okay? You cannot send this in any other sort of network, otherwise it will dissolve the funds. So you can hit copy address and send the money. I would suggest doing it this way. I would suggest holding or purchasing uh, Veracity's tokens on an exchange like KuCoin 
and then actually sending them over to Veracity. That's going to save you the on and off ramp fee that we discussed before, which is about 52 Australian dollars, which would be about 30 uh, American dollars. So it's going to save you that way. Again, ERC20 is still going to charge you about 20 odd dollars. So it's not too much cheaper, but it definitely helps. And from there, guys, it is fairly simple. You can actually just go on here and you'll either have it in your main wallet or staking wallet. And if you did want to add it to your staking wallet, you would just hit stake and hit the amount you actually have available in your main wallet. Let's just say we did buy 10,000 tokens. You would hit continue and uh, you'd be able to go through from there. Fairly simple explanation there, guys. Like I said, nothing too difficult. So now let's go on to the Esports Fight Club and uh, have a quick look through there as well. Okay, so let's go through Esports Fight Club now. So access through the top here of the main page. I'm just going to pause this really quickly. Now, the Esports Fight Club is fairly simple to understand, so we're not going to spend too much time here. So Esports Fight Club is basically where anyone can go and watch esports tournaments. Here, you're able to see the exact brackets and players in each team, pool sizes, and much more. One thing I want to also mention is watch time is redeemable for gaming credits for your favorite games or alternatively, VRA tokens. Essentially, you are able to actually utilize watch time and reinvest back into your favorite game. So let's just scroll through all of this now and show you what it actually looks like. All right, so just for that example now, let's just go down and just pick one of these. So let's just go into this one. So we can see the information, so gameplay account, tournament format, and tournament pool now this is for valorant so you have your different type of uh, esports here and you got your total video views and total page views here now the brackets that i was talking to you about so if we go into here we can see the bracket it's quite large this is a uh, global or can be limited to uh, nations or countries but this one is global if you're clicking in here we can see the team so player in game names which is pretty pretty cool again if you watch these you'll be able to actually get vra tokens back it will allow you to also get efc points which can be then redeemable for in-game purchases and that pretty much sums up esports fight club again guys i am only making this video to bring you the current news and updates this was more so just a look at some of the pages uh, again there's no complex information here it's just kind of like go through yourself and have a quick look so you can get a great understanding of everything so let's now go through and have a look at the roadmap so as i mentioned we're here now on the roadmap and the current update so looking into quarter three which is on the left hand side here we can actually see that they have the esports fight club players matching coming out the direct communication channel between teams and admins in case of issues which is really really great efc map a veto system which is that rewards that i was talking about to you before the notifications for Vera Wallet, player statistics for EFC, customizable streamer and influencer dedicated pages on Esports Fire Club, and in terms of the project itself, VRA digital purchases for gaming hardware enabled for partnerships. So as you can see, nothing too standout-ish is listed for quarter three, and that's probably a really, really good thing because the sooner something is, the more likely people have already bought the rumor and already then sold the news. What that basically means is we are wanting to hold the token when it is low and no one's talking about it. And then when an important update, for example, comes along uh, and it's common knowledge, we then sell that to the people that are buying in. Now, this may mean holding months before, but it's always well worth it. Now, the reason I say it's great that nothing in quarter three is actually happening is because we are currently in quarter three and the chance of us capitalizing on gains if there were a crucial update is not maximum. Now, in saying that, there are a couple much needed improvements like notifications for VeriWallet, customizable streamer and influencer dedicated pages on Esports Fight Club and VRA digital purchases for gaming hardware enabled partnerships that are coming up. Now these aren't the greatest of updates in my opinion and may only see a small shift in price if not none. However, what we're gonna do is cover some important news that has come out in quarter three already and that's gonna be on the Medium page. Now the Medium page, as we all know, is very, very crucial for the articles that the coin produces to let their audience know what they're doing. So basically, most of the information in this is fairly easy to read and understand and they do that on purpose because they know most of their community is gonna be that of the average investor. So if we just look at the Medium page here, it is very, very well set out and I've gone through all of this in my first video. What we're gonna be covering is the blockchain games versus blockchain enabled uh, gaming, which came out on the 11th of August. 
and also patent published. Uh, so they have updates to their patent and it was published as well. And that's on the August the 3rd. So we're just gonna go into something I've highlighted out here on the blockchain games versus blockchain enabled gaming section. I'm just gonna to read to you this little part here. So at Veracity, we're changing the game without changing the way games are played. Instead of building on the blockchain, we are leveraging blockchain technology to make existing gaming better through features such as watch and earn, which is that green trophy system. And the results of this approach speak for themselves. And this is one thing I've really, really liked about Veracity is they're utilizing a feature that can be impl implemented onto existing platforms and not just creating a platform all to themselves like AOS, for example. Even though I love AOS, this is a lot more effective. Now, this also comes in the form of the eSports Fight Club, which allows Veracity to partner with already well-established eSport groups and to create a larger viewing platform and an overall greater supply of information for the viewers. Again, not creating a totally new platform themselves. Now, the second is the update to their existing patent, which uh, has now been fully published. So the patent has been updated to include NFT technology, which I'm gonna to read to you now. So the POV patent extension includes a broad variety of NFT content types and applications of NFT technology, including digital rights management, the exemplary disclosed NFT content may further include information regarding rights, such as, for example, right of ownership, admittance permission, right of priority, author rights, and or other suitable rights. In addition, as described in the patent and existing NFTs can be converted into POV enabled NFTs, and it provides an infinite scalability to our solution with anti-fraud, a solution that no one else has globally. The publication provides further legitimacy to our patent in the United States and will help us as we work to expand patents globally. Now, this is really, really important because this is actually gonna segue into their quarter four roadmap updates where they actually implement NFTs. Now, quarter four does have many updates. It's hard not to look at this and not wanna buy in. So let's just run down the list. So as mentioned, NFTs, number one. Esports Fire Club store launch, marketplace for gamers, addition of in-game cosmetics plus in-game currencies purchased through the store with VRA. VRA wallet mobile apps, uh, branded highlighted tournaments for influencers and streamers, custom white label areas for brand slash partner pages for tournaments and the project side of things. So view verification proof of view, ad fraud detection with proof of view and ticketing support for EFC. The most standout updates are the NFT implementations, I would have to say eSports Fire Club store launch and also the addition of in-game cosmetics and in-game currencies, as well as mobile apps for Vero Wallet, view verification for proof of view, which is a huge fundamental in the technology, as well as ad fraud detection with proof of view, another important one for the overall system. So quite obviously this is ideal for us as we now have the opportunity to buy in the so-called rumor and then sell the news for late 2021 when the majority of the market will be hearing about this. So if you were at all concerned about investing now, just remember you are receiving a massive 25.5% 5% return on your investment, which again is calculated at 0.07% a day. So there are some additional incentives to want to hold the token until then. So guys, there aren't any more partnerships or any other information I can bring with you other than what's coming up and the important upcoming events. So a great tool I like to use for these is a website called Coin Market Calendar. So type that in, I might have it in the description below. Now, if you go on there and type in Veracity in the search bar, that's actually gonna bring up uh, some of the events that I've already mentioned to you and the dates associated with that. And people can actually go on there and upvote uh, from the community on important updates and how hot they might be. So I would definitely take a note of the ones I have mentioned to you in quarter four. Quarter three is neither here or there. It's pretty much, we're in the middle of it right now. So quarter four is where we're gonna make our money because the updates are huge. There's really, really big updates, and I'm telling you right now, I believe VRA was actually trending today. Believe me when I tell you, it'll definitely be trending in quarter four. So take full advantage of this opportunity now, guys. The market cap of Veracity, last time I checked, was $42 million. So there is a huge amount to grow, so stay tuned. There is some amazing things coming up for Veracity. So that about sums up the video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, as you can tell, there are some good updates coming up for Veracity in quarter four of 2021. The number one would be NFTs and actually the really, really good use cases they have on the ecosystem for them. And uh, obviously that's gonna give them a larger market share. So as you can tell, the ecosystem is beginning to come online and some of the things like the pattern is extended and has been published. 
So there is exciting things coming up for Veracity. Now, if you do want more updates on Veracity, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I can make this a routine, and if I do hear any big news, I'll bring you guys a video on that. I do apologize if I didn't cover everything exactly how you would have liked. I just wanted to more so expose you to the different features and the pages they have, and mainly bring you what was coming up in quarter four so you can understand that buying in now is a good time to buy with the staking benefits as well as the eventual uh, increase in price. So again, thank you for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.